Hey guys, this is another uh, games I've been playing recently. Uh, just the games I've beaten or have been trophy hunting on, etc. Uh, the first three here are digital games. Um, first one's Rezogun. I don't know if any of you have played it, but it is a uh, shoot 'em up, aka shmup, as people on YouTube call them. Um, if you don't know what that is, where you're a plane and like you just destroy stuff, you just keep shooting over and over again, you shoot them up. Um, but it's a free to play game on the PS4, PSN store. Um, it's very, very good, very colorful. Um, it's cool the controller has a speaker on it, the PS4 controller. And uh, it'll say, like, save the last human. Like, it'll come out of the speaker. And because uh, there's little green humans you have to save and. Like, if they fall out of their little... This it's really hard to explain without seeing it, but, uh... Pretty much these little green humans, they're just, like... Little green human-shaped things that glow green. Uh, if you see one on the ground, you can swoop down and grab it, and then take it to, like... This, like, transporter thing, and it'll give you points or power-up or something. And there's trophies for saving all the humans, but I have not done that because... It's kind of hard, um... The game's kind of hard at some points. But yeah, the controller talks to you and stuff. It's really cool. Um, but anyways, the next game is uh, Mickey's Castle of Illusion. Um, it's a remake of the old... I think it's I think it's only on Sega Genesis. It might be on Super Nintendo 2. I, I don't know. Um, it's a platformer, though. Um, you play as Mickey Mouse. You jump on people's heads and stuff. You know, typical platformer stuff. Um, the remake is really good. It came with the old one, too. I don't know if it still has it, but, uh, the old one was fun, too. Um, the new one, though, it has a story. Mickey, or Minnie's stolen, you know, and you gotta save Minnie. Uh, she's stolen by Maleficent. And you're essentially in this, uh, in this big mansion, or I guess castle. It's a castle of illusion. And, uh, it's kind of like Mario 64. You have to get so many of, uh, I think they're, like, I forgot what they're called. There's some kind of diamonds or something. You have to get so many to unlock a door. And when you go in there, you can unlock another door. It's just, it's just like the painting thing in Mario 64. But uh, it's a very it's a really fun game. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It was free for PS Plus members a while back, so I went ahead and got it. But uh, yeah, platformer and very well polished. Good graphics, good music. I like it a lot. Uh, the third one is uh, Strider. It is the is also a remake. Or not a remake, it's more like a reboot. Um, it's like a side-scrolling 3D slash 2D platformer. It's like Metroidvania kind of game. Uh, you have a sword, and you're just slashing through everything. Very colorful. Uh, it also uses the controller speaker. I really like that controller speaker, by the way. I know the Wii was the first to do it, but it's pretty cool. Um, Strider can get really hard, though. Uh... I was definitely pulling some hairs out in a lot of parts, but it was still really fun. Um, it has a story, but the story's not really what the game's about. I mean, I mean, it, the story's okay, I guess, but uh, it's mostly for the gameplay. The bosses are pretty intense. The bosses get get pretty hard. Um, but yeah, I completed those three digital games. Um, I didn't complete this one, Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, I just don't know when I'm gonna get back to it. I this is my favorite game of all time, Ocarina of Time. Um, so I was waiting, the last time I beat the game was the last and only time I beat the game. It's when I was like maybe 11 or 12. Um, so I wanted to wait a very long time to forget as much as possible before I went back and played it again. And luckily this came out, so uh, I started playing it like a month ago, m two months ago maybe. Um, not hardcore, just like maybe a dungeon a day or half a dungeon. But uh, I still love it. Still an amazing game. Um, they completely redid the graphics in the game, and uh, your inventory is now on the bottom screen, which is cool. Um, it uses the gyroscope, I think that's what it's called. Like if you have your uh, your bow and arrow out or your slingshot, you can move your controller around to aim, but you can turn that off. Uh, there's, they also added like Sheikah stones. Which is, if you're stuck, you can go use one of those, and it'll tell you like exactly what to do. I have not used one yet, but uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get back into this eventually and finish it. I'm pretty far. I think I just completed the Shadow Temple, 
It's the one that's at, right after you go down in the well. Um, sorry, I was making sure it was recording. Uh, excuse me, but yeah, great game. I'm going to get a drink of water, sorry. Okay, next game here is a uh, Resident Evil 5. Um, I beat this game a long time ago, like back in like 2009. But uh, Devious Jr. and I, we want to platinum this game before they take it off the servers. I don't know when they're going to do that, but they do like to pull game off games off servers sometimes and not support them to where you can't do online play. But uh, this is a great game. We're just trophy hunting on it and uh, trying to beat it on professional and get all the the uh, BSA emblems and all that stuff. But a uh, great game if you play with a friend. Gets a lot of bad rap, a big bad rap, but it's a really good game. Uh, we've been playing some Dead Island, Devious Jr. and I. We're also trophy hunting on this game. Um, we haven't completed the game yet, but in order, like the last area, the prison, you have to get everything you want to get before you go there because you can't go back. So we're basically level grinding and cleaning up anything we haven't done before we go on. But uh, this is a first person, like, it's not really a shooter, because, I mean, there are guns, but you mostly want to use your melee weapons. Uh, it's a very good game, which is very, very buggy. If you play this game without the patch, you are going to get mad. Like, this, this game is the buggiest game I've ever seen in my life. And it looks like I'm lagging. If I'm lagging, I'm sorry. I'm already too far into the video to start over. But, uh, but yeah, they patched it, but it's still... Like, the developers, on one of the trophies, it's called There and Back, There and Back Again or something. It's visit all the places on the island, and, it, like, I think there's 72 places, and they miscounted, so there was a place that didn't even exist, so you could you could only get 71 places, and uh, they had to go in and patch it and make one of the places count as two places, because uh, cause they messed up on the counting, which is kind of funny. Um, also... I don't know if it happens to everybody else, but this game, if I try to use a mic with Junior, or whoever I'm playing with, like, if you try to just mic up, like, on your PS3, um, it'll freeze the game. So, we have to use Skype while playing this game to talk to each other. Yeah, very buggy, but still a good game. Um, I just popped this in and played some multiplayer recently. Um, I don't know why, I don't really like Infinity Ward's Call of Duty games that much. I mean, the stories are okay, like the campaigns, but the online, I don't know, it just rubs me the wrong way. Um, like, the maps are way too big on this game. Uh, I don't know. I, I prefer Treyarch. Uh, Black Ops 1 and 2 are my favorite Call of Duties. But yeah, I played a little bit of that. Um, just went back and did some trophy hunting on this game, still trying to get the platinum for it. I am a trophy whore, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but that's all I did on that, was get some trophies. Um, I don't know if I showed this that I picked this game up or not yet, but I played a little bit of it. Um, I played through the first few missions by myself, and it was kind of fun. It was atmospheric, you know, like the the graphics and everything are great. The shooting, shooting is great. Like, I have no problem with the gameplay. Um, it just seems a little, I don't know, a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not deep enough, like, this, the story is basically told through a little ghost robot following you around and saying a few sentences, like, that's your story. Um, there are some cutscenes, but it doesn't expose much story. Um, but this game isn't just for the story, it's supposed to be like an MMO, I know. I haven't played a whole lot of it, I'm going to get back into it, I'm on like level 7 or something. Um, it's a good game, it's just not fantastic. You you have to be into this type of game, I guess. Uh, Infamous Second Son. I love this game. Um, I platinum this game. I got all the trophies. I beat it twice. One good playthrough, one bad playthrough. And I must say I liked the good playthrough better because the bad playthrough kind of made me mad at the end because Delson's kind of a douche when he's bad. Um, I do like the character of Delson, but only on the good playthrough. Um, uh, this game is its pretty sweet, though. The story's pretty good. The uh, gameplay is amazing. It's just like the other Infamouses, except you have more powers. Um, like Junior pointed out to me, his power is he can absorb 
other conduits powers. So he's essentially like Mega Man, like Junior said. Credit to Junior. Um, so he get you can get four different powers in this game. One of them doesn't really count because you get it at the very end of the game, and by that point you've already done everything you want to do, most likely, unless you want to play in the free room. But uh, one cool one cool thing I noticed about this game is uh, the controller. Like, there's a light on the front of the PS4 controller. If you're good, it'll glow blue, and if you're doing a bad playthrough, it glows red, which is really cool. Um, it's also your, every time your cell phone rings, it's your controller that's ringing, and uh, if somebody calls you or something, sometimes it comes through the controller. Um, it's pretty sweet. Well, not when they call you. It was a uh, like you picked up a helmet at one point and had a little like mic in it that someone was talking through, like a like a I don't know what it's called, but anyways, it was talking through the controller. It was pretty sweet. Um, also, this game has a uh, something called the Paper Trail uh, missions. I didn't finish it. I got to part two, I think, but it is very cool. It's very innovative. Uh, Pretty much, there's a scary rabbit girl. I think she's like a ghost, maybe. Like, she's wearing like an origami rabbit mask, and like, she's really fast, and she leaves origami trails and stuff. But, uh, she leaves clues, and, um, you have to, like, go online to infamouspapertrail.com or something, and, uh, sign up and s connect your PSN to it. And then when you find the clues, they upload onto your computer, and, uh, you look through the clues and like like you have to be a detective pretty much and uh... you have to look through all the clues and find like a passcode and use that passcode on whatever like one was a phone and one was like a tracker drone that had like a like a little keypad on it and then that's how you can advance in on your game so it's like they're interacting together it was pretty sweet but uh... yeah great game uh... borderlands I beat this game a long time ago. I just went back and cleaned up a few of the trophies, and I got the platinum. Um, amazing game. I'm looking forward to going on to Borderlands 2 and then the pre-sequel. Most of you probably already know about Borderlands by now. Um, Uncharted 3. When this game first came out, uh, my fiance and I, well, she's my girlfriend then, but uh, we both played through and collected all the treasures and everything, beat the game. So uh, I only, I'm only two trophies away from the platinum, so I'm just playing through it on crushing right now. And holy crap, crushing is hard. Um, <laughs> you will get mad if you play this on crushing. I'm just letting you know that. Um, I can't remember if I told you guys about this game. I know I showed it in a pickups video. But I finished this game. Uh, it was a great game. Um, it was compared a lot to Skyrim because it came out around the same time. But like I said before, I would I probably like this game more than Skyrim just because the story is like I'm a story guy in Skyrim if you want to know a big part of the Skyrim story you're gonna have to read a lot of the books and notes and stuff lying around and <laughs> I don't really feel like doing that um, but uh, Skyrim's a great game I do love Skyrim don't get me wrong I beat it too but uh, I didn't know about this game when it first came out and I most likely skipped it because it's a sequel and I have to play them in order but the first game is like a PC only game and I do not have a gaming PC so I just went ahead and skipped it went on to this. Um, this kind of has a video that tells what happened in the first game, and I looked it up on YouTube anyways. But, uh, yeah, it plays a lot like Dragon Age, in my opinion. Um, it's linear with a little bit of exploration. Like, each area you get to, you can explore, and you can backtrack and everything, but you can't really go off the beaten path and just go into the woods and stuff like Skyrim. Um, great story, great game, though. And the last one here is Max Payne 1. I can't remember if I talked about this game. I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention this in my last video, though. Um, I, I've been wanting to try the Max Payne series for a while, so I just decided to pop in the first one. I got 1 and 2 for, like, $5 or something. So, uh, yeah, this... You can definitely tell this game is aged. Um, the combat isn't very... It's okay. I mean, <laughs> you can just tell it's old. I'll just say that. Uh, the story is pretty good, though. It's told through, like, comic book style, you know. Um, his his voice acting is hilarious. Like, he is just... He narrates everything he does. Like, he'll walk into a room and be like, And then I randomly heard the toilet flush. Like, like he's just really intense on everything. It's really funny. Um, it's really corny, too, but it's, it's funny, though. It's good. 
Um, I haven't played two or three yet. I really want to. I'm gonna. I have both of them, so I'll get into those eventually. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty short game, so try it out if you have it or if you find it. It's pretty good. I don't like much Rockstar games because I'm not really into Grand Theft Auto that much. But uh, I really do like this one. And that is it, guys. And uh, can't think of any more games I played, so I will see you later. Bye.